Hey everyone, it's Kevin again. This should be a pretty quick video. So I have the Novastar MX40, which runs, of course, the uh, VMP software, uh, COVX, and I saw a new firmware version came out, so I figured I would show you how to upgrade. So, of course, the uh, firmware is available on Novastar's website. It's going to be novastar.tech under downloads, and I see here under the MX40, we now have firmware version 1.2.3, Taking a look at the release notes, we can see it now supports module flash status visualizations. Very cool. Uh, erase seam correction. That's really cool. Sync time. Uh, you just can have set Ethernet port backups. Cool. Brightness calibration can be set. And a few bug fixes. Really cool. So I've gone ahead and I have downloaded the zipped file, the MX40. I do need to uncompress it. So I'm just going to copy and paste it to my desktop. So I have the access to it. Here we go. Great. So I have logged into VMP on the uh, software and I see my MX40 popping up on the network. So here I have, it automatically takes me to the uh, maintenance page, but the way I'll get here, I'll show you. So I have my MX40, which here it is right here. I'm connected to a live system. This is not a simulator. Uh, if I go up to settings, my settings mean tools, tools, maintain. Here I have my cabinets. I'm not connected to anything at the moment. And I have my processor. Uh, so on the right hand side, there's a little tab here for upgrade, but I can also select the processor and hit upgrade as well. I'm now going to find the image file that I just downloaded. Here it is. I'm going to open it up, upgrade in progress. And now it's going to give me a really quick status bar as it does this. Uh, one thing you're going to see compared to older versions of Nova Star, so Nova LCT, Smart LCT, uh, and then even the other processors is it's much, much quicker. So it looks like the bar is going to come across almost there, almost there. So version 1.21 is what I'm currently on. Uh, I will need to, of course, check and see if there's a new version of VMP for me as well. Um, while this is doing that, I will take a look. Uh, if I come up to, let's see if we go about, so we're at 1.20, see general, make sure I'm in Fahrenheit. So it's still upgrading. So while this is going on, I'm going to navigate to novastar.tech. And we're going to go to downloads and we're going to see the COEX line here. Give me a quick check. Still upgrading, still upgrading. Uh, let's see. So we're looking for the VMP software. So I got software. Uh, sure enough, there is a 1.2.3. So I'm going to install the software as well. And let's see the release notes. Add snore snapshot, erase seam corrections. Cool. So that all looks really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and install this new version as well. And it looks like my firmware is done updating. So that's really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and install the new 1.2.3 version. It's going to automatically close the other version for me. I'm going to accept the agreement. And by the way, this does work on Windows as well as Apple. So all you Apple OS X users, you are in luck. All right, so it's going to install to my program files, 86. Uh, I don't really need that for anything. Unlike uh, older versions, there's really nothing I need to do in the program data page. Um, while I'm waiting for this to install, uh, I do have an overall tutorial of the VMP software on a different video. It's a little out of date. Uh, I'll probably make a new version in the next few days or few weeks. All right, I'm going to go ahead and launch, and we'll see if I'm updated and working. Here we go. MX40 is popping up in the network, and looks like I am in it. So I'm going to go to Tools, Maintain, and v.1.2.3. Very cool. Um, so let's just see if there's anything obviously new here. So of course we have the source page. Uh, currently I am in all in one mode, thus I have four layers I can play with. Uh, we know of course sending card only mode reduces your overall latency and increases your canvas size, by the way. Uh, layout page, that all looks the same. 
Um, cool. So it looks like there's a little bit of improvements here. Yeah, brightness and chroma calibration is new. Um, this all looks familiar. Screen settings, EOTF. Everything is looking the same. No difference here. Monitoring page, preset. Great. So that was pretty quick and easy. I think all in all it took three minutes to do. So that was uh, upgrading the firmware of the processor itself, as well as doing um, the software version. So in a future video, I'll show you some of the new features really in depth, but we see though that updating the firmware itself is quite straightforward. Great, so uh, thanks for watching, subscribe, like, all that good stuff.